If I could invent anything, I would, I would make a way for people who have control in society to be able to have empathy and understanding and knowledge into the perspective of what they exploit to do the things that they do. That the first thing off the top of my head is I would make a machine that would do that. So would sit into this machine and you would look into these special goggles and they would actually reprogram your mind to uh, to um, erase self-hate by by force feeding you knowledge of uh, our history and love of ourselves <laughs> I don't, I don't hate black people. I, I'm just like really scared of them when they around me. You never know what they gonna do. Well, I don't really need that. It's not that I hate gays, but why do they have to dress up in front of me? Like, they don't gotta be kissing and touching hands. What was wrong with that image? What was wrong with that image? What was wrong with that image? They couldn't understand each other. You had two people, not only they couldn't understand each other, but they hated each other, hated each other, hated each other. Why was that? We got a machine that's going to help you fix that. It's going to help you understand people better. It's called Tolerance, Tolerance Inducer 3000. Inducer. And this machine, once you put it on, will let you understand people. So no more arguing, no more bickering, no more intolerance. All love when you put this machine on. All you have to do is put it on as a headband, you hit a little button on the side, and all your intolerance is gone. Okay, so I do not understand how I could even, like, just not understand black people. Like, they human just like us, and so really I just gotta get to know them to get to understand them. Like, yo. I don't know why I was like that, but gays, they're okay. You know, they're not bad. And they gotta treat everybody equal. The Tolerance Inducer 3000 will fix racism, ignorance, misunderstanding, love, heartache, sadness, rage, and that feeling that you aren't wanted. I fear that one day technology will reach a person's imagination and that depending on the, on the creator's imagination, something could form, but except it'll be a perfect match to it. As in, say someone has a dark, relatively dark imagination, right, that could harm someone. If technology catches up to that, then we don't know what it would do. Oh, I fear uh, something that would be dangerous in the future would be artificial, artificial intelligence, like uh, robots, and like uh, how they could turn bad or something go against the human race.
What machine would I make to make this world a better place? A machine that will um, ignite people's sense of being and who they are to help them to treat everyone fairly. This would be a machine that could possibly end world hunger for the third world places in the world. <laughs> I'm not really sure, to be honest. <laughs> um, I don't know, a machine that gives you free food every time. I don't know. <laughs> Is if I could design a love machine, that's what I would. That's what I would create because there's not enough love and um, appreciation for each other in the world. Um, something, uh, a machine that where you could see history. Um, your past history of a subject of your interest. Um, a good, you know, that would give you some good history. Right here in the U.S. Yeah. saying maybe we should have a European model. If we decided to create a single payer system with one of these huge crises in the US. I think a side effect of having an invention like that would be that people using the machine would kind of be spoiled and they wouldn't actually learn from their mistakes or what was wrong with what they were doing. So some unseen problems with the machine the machine I would make would be that people still have to have free will. So I, I would not be able to make black people sit into this machine, sit in this machine, uh, put on these goggles, and force them to take the knowledge that I want them to have. And the VA, our version of socialized medicine, it's about the same size as these other countries. These countries have government under the huge crisis in the U.S. Uh, as long as it's good. Uh, it's great. World hunger. Is it a problem? Yes, it is. We live in a society where people are in need. To end this, I have created the Apple Machine. This machine has the ability to feed and provide a nutritious meal, which in turn will end world hunger. My engineer, Babari, has a few words to say so as to inform you about how he built this advanced machine. This machine utilizes timers, sensors, and facial recognition to discern if someone is hungry. When it recognizes a hungry person, it approaches them with ease and describes the different types of meals to choose from. My colleague Savannah will end this off. The Apple Machine, in reference to the original invention of the Apple Cart, which was an idea back in the day that provided people with fruits and vegetables. This new advanced version will provide food, but in a more accessible fashion. Also, unlike the original version, this machine recognizes different dietary preferences. That is, there is an option for meat and vegan lovers. That said, I would like to thank my colleague Babari, my colleague Gabonique, for helping to build this machine. Thank you for your time. We look forward to improving people's diet as well as decreasing the rate of world hunger. So, um, I fear that if things don't correct themselves, our young people, we won't have a we won't have a culture. We will be committing genocide on our own race. And I don't want that to happen. We need to know about our past so that it doesn't repeat itself. Um, the way we treat the world, 
um, the, the lack of uh, respect for um, the pollution, uh, people not taking care of, uh, throwing trash out, not really loving the world. It's only one place, it's the only place we have. And uh, I think people take advantage of it and don't appreciate it. And I'd like to see uh, my children's children have the experiences that I had in a, in a, a clean environment. Fear in the future is our government not doing anything to help us still like today. They're not doing much to help us. So. People not having their rights given to them or, the, or their rights being taken away from other people. That people will forget or the generations coming um, have, have know what it is to love and care for one another. One technological device that I feel like will be absolute in the future will probably be a camera. Only because phones nowadays are able to take same quality pictures than a camera, zoom in like a camera, and um, you're not going to need this big device to use when you could just use something that's three times smaller. Um, Siri, Alexa, Cortana, Cortana, however you say it. Like, those won't be useful because, like, as more technology don't come up, and then there's no need to. Like, they can, instead of saying, hi, Alexa, whatever, you don't have to say that. Like, once you get in the room, some, something will just say, hi, Dominique, you're, you are home. Like, yeah. Uh, in the future, something that might become absolutely is nothing because humans right now proven that they're addicted to technology. And if anything is technology, obviously we're comfortable enough to keep using the same products we're using. So I don't think anything is going to become obsolete. Not no lights, not no camera. As long as somebody likes something, it's not going to not exist. <laughs> uh, I think all technologies eventually render themselves up beat. So I don't think that there's any technology that's safe. I think the, the biggest piece of technology that we use today is an automobile. And I think that's going to become obsolete, uh, certainly uh, in my lifetime and your lifetimes. I think a technology that will be obsolete in the future will be race. Race is actually a technology. Race does not exist. Racism is very real. So the ideas of genetic inferiority, superiority based on ideas of skin tone um, are very real. But race is a fallacy. It does not exist. Last question. If you had a message for the future, what would it be? I, you know, I have to go back to just taking care of the environment and, 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 and loving and each other and, and being um, united with one another. Um, set dreams and goals for yourself and, you know, try to fulfill those dreams and goals. It doesn't matter how long it takes to succeed in a dream or a goal. As long as you set one and then, you know, go after it and try to achieve it. A uh, message for the future would be don't be afraid to do whatever feels right to you. Like don't let anybody um, hold you back. I want the message to be to let everyone know, especially these young people, to know they are smart and intelligent and that they can learn and they will become something in their life. Uh, if you want to try to do something, don't try to complete everything if you can't do it. Um, rather than doing nothing, it's better to do something. My biggest fear and concern for the future is that not very much will change. I'm afraid that in a hundred years from now, we're still going to have a lot of the same social problems that we still have today. That really concerns me. I'm afraid that there's going to be a lot of distinction and racism and misogyny in the world.
because some people are feeling very confident, some they're feeling to me with the people who have the power to change things by actually changing things. Um, yeah, my biggest fear or concern for the future is that people, men, women, children, etc., will continue decimating the integrity of the environment, the water, the land, the air, and the climate. A new push for single payer health care. Health care for its. Welcome to the first Assistant X conference. I'm very excited to be here and to introduce a product that will revolutionize healthcare as we know it. For so long, our healthcare system has focused on dollars over lives. And this decision has increased the number of sick people in the country. Increasingly so, the current healthcare system continues to create more problems than it solves. Assistant X is a product that will change that by making healthcare more user friendly, more accessible, and affordable to everyone. Assistant X is a friendly medical robot assistant that follows you around so as to make sure that you're always healthy. Assigned to you at birth and outside of surgery, Assistant X takes care of your immediate medical needs. For instance, it checks your vitals, glucose level, blood pressure, and administrates medicine. In an event of an emergency, alerts first responders to your location. In short, Assistant X is a revolutionary product because it connects first responders, doctors, nurses, physicians, and other healthcare professionals to their patients. This connectivity will give people peace of mind as well as make healthcare efficient and robust enough to handle any me medical emergency. And that Assistant X is also a free product, meaning that healthcare will finally be about people rather than profit and dollar signs. is is to try to learn as much as possible about the world around you because like the more you understand how the system work and then you can start to make things or change things change the way the world works and my other thing i would say in the future is that nothing has to be that it is it just happens to be that way right now and most things can't change Everything's going to be okay. What I believe people should do is that they should enjoy what they have now because things are going to change and even if you don't want it to change, the world's going to change so you might as well enjoy what you have during that time so you don't get left behind. Just be careful and don't overpower the future with technology. Uh, I fear that technology might actually take over, so we're gonna uh, lose like humans. Like we're not gonna be able to like talk to each other anymore. We're not gonna know how to feel anymore because everything's gonna be such technology based. Like in the future, we might have something that tells us how we feel, tells us how to think, tells us what to eat, what to buy. Like we're gonna lose our imagination. We're gonna lose creativity. We're gonna lose what makes us human.